Hello, everybody. Don't be shy to applaud. It warms you up. It uh, warms me up. Warms you up, winds me down. So here's the information that the average person every second generates a bit about two megabytes of information every second. We decided to catch up with this trend. We generate a little more, some 200 megabytes, but just facts. And we are ready to share you with this fact. I'm Nilnit Polopan. I present to company Microsoft. I'm a representative, I, I, I represent enterprise business in the Ukraine, Eastern and Central Europe, together with other colleagues whom you'll see very soon, Philip and Tadadam, who will tell you a bit, uh, some facts about Microsoft for startups. I wanted to start from Partners Ecosystem. Most of the businesses in Microsoft are built through partners and thanks to partners. Every day we work with the partners, for the partners, also moving our company ahead, developing it. Why is it important in context of startups? Because startups are an integral part of our partners ecosystem. If we talk about Microsoft, maybe every company in the world is a Microsoft customer in one way or another. Many of these customers are in successful long-term relationship with us. That means that if any startup or any partner working with us, they are automatically our customers become their customers. So in Microsoft, we have some, we have some of the biggest sales teams. If you add to this our partners teams, it's probably going to be the biggest sales team. So working with partners and startups, your sales team is interested in promoting the products of our partners. We have the biggest partners ecosystem. If we talk about beginners and startups, they can scale up, they can localize their products to promote in specific countries. Also about the reasons why startups work with us. And the first question is, the first reason is cloud. Who knows what is what cloud is? Of course, it was a joke, of course, sorry. If you're here, you probably know what cloud is. But some people didn't raise their hands. Maybe you know what uh, Microsoft Cloud Azure means. Let's not raise hands. I believe you, I thank you. But this is one of the reasons. Uh, one of the reasons, because I don't want to draw your attention to a huge number of numbers and figures, it's a global platform. This is the top shelf technologies. But what's also important is that if you work with products that are based on Azure platform, it's not just infrastructure. It's a huge number of services that are all ready and time tested and are ready to use. That means that startups and any partners who work with us, they can focus on the key features of their products and solutions. And also they can avoid spending or wasting time to create something that's already there. Uh, AI services, machine learning services, IoT and many others. You don't need to waste time inventing all that. You're using the existing technologies and do, by doing so improve your time to market time. Azure is an open platform. If your developers are used to working with MongoDB, with Linux, they can go on doing that. 
in a familiar environment with something they like by being and staying in a protected cloud azure uses all slas and all the benefits of azure platform another thing that can be interesting is that if you place your products uh, here your logo appears here and many many people of the world start using your product we um, spend a lot of time to work uh, to make our products easy to use for beginners as well we use for that many other many different programs let me dwell on just a couple of them the first is uh, training programs for startups they're focused on startups they're focused on three main elements which is uh, azure platform concept automated deployment and also low code or no code platforms for fast development in parallel you can find a huge number of different training programs and certificates and you can easily choose those that you need for your product specifically for your customer specifically in parallel with that we do regular virtual training days where we talk about products platforms and solutions approaches where you can also join in attract your developers your employees your colleagues in central eastern europe european countries we often do adaptations for local languages and of course if you work in international environment with people from different countries you can find the most understandable platform and since we've already talked about languages for uh, startup lead philip philip if you can hear me hello hello do you hear me yes we don't see you but we can ah, now we can see then hi then and philip yeah so philip over to you Thank you. Uh, firstly, I, I'm sorry that I'm, I'm not talking your, your language, I'm talking English. Uh, I'm glad to be here at least remotely, virtually. Now you learn a little bit about technologies. Imagine that your B2B product or service, which you sell to your customers, uh, runs on Azure. In that moment, uh, you are not only our customer, but uh, more than that, you are you are a partner. So, in case we talk about technologies, in the same moment we should talk about uh, sales as well, because your customers are also our customers. So let's go deeper to the startup offering. We learned that uh, having access to technologies is great, but it's not enough. Uh, as a startup, you need to develop your f product or service very fast. Uh, you need to be on the market uh, very fast and uh, you don't want to waste the time with uh, you know finding something in the documentation struggling with some, with some difficulties uh, so you need the technical advisory then you need the second thing you need is a great uh, let's say grow customers uh, portfolio grow your market share get new customers right so we are uh, we are here we are ready to help you with uh, accelerate your your business through microsoft ecosystem let me show how uh, how it look like concretely uh, there are two parts i'd say technical from the technical enablement uh, it includes three basic uh, let's say building blocks uh, first access to technologies i mean uh, Azure, Office 365, Dynamics 365, Visual Studio, everything what, if you are a developer, you need to build a great product. The second thing, as I mentioned before, technical advisory. It means access to cloud solution architects, partner technical strategists, so people who can help you. And the third thing is enterprise level technical support, so 24 hours a day and seven days a week. Then the, on the on the right side, uh, this is the business side. Uh, so we are ready to help you with onboarding to our 
partner ecosystem to uh, to Microsoft ecosystem. So onboard uh, onboarding to marketplace and to help you automate your sales, deployment and billing. Uh, then the second thing uh, I would like to mention is uh, that um, if you do that, then Microsoft sellers uh, are motivated to sell uh, your solution. And the third thing, if you target, for example, small uh, customers, it's much better to to do, let's say, co-marketing, uh, co-marketing activities. So we are ready here with marketing uh, resources as well. Let's go closer to the sales side. Let's imagine that uh, your product and service uh, is up and running on Azure, and uh, if it is meaningful, you are uh, well integrated with, for example, Dynamics, Teams, uh, so you can uh, you can do better co-sell with those uh, those products. So how to reach our new customers? It depends uh, on your uh, say sales and deployment strategy. For example, your sales cycle is very short. You your product is easy to understand, easy to uh, deploy, easy to uh, integrate, and you target millions of customers globally. Uh, in that case, uh, commercial marketplace is a very good choice for you, no matter if you sell your service uh, as, as a service or if you deploy your, your product to customers tenant. Maybe you want to build your own partner channel. It is also possible you can open uh, your solution and you can automate also through, uh, through this ch channel as well. And the last but not least, is that uh, you touch bigger bigger enterprises, you touch uh, large customers, and uh, the sales cycle is, uh, let's say, weeks or months, you need to open a lot of doors. Uh, so in this case, we offer you to cooperate with our sellers, so we can uh, manage uh, our common opportunities together. So we are ready to support you in all, let's say, deployment and sales uh, models. So let's see the end-to-end -end journey. So to, su to summarize uh, the whole journey, during up to two years, uh, we are ready to support you from the building the application to publishing, so prepare for the selling, then first sales and the graduation to long-term uh, partnership with Microsoft. All the time you are supported uh, from uh, startup coordinators, and from the technical point of view, we are ready from uh, this enterprise uh, level technical support. But uh, this is not only about Microsoft and uh, and startups. Uh, we used to cooperate uh, with startup ecosystem players like uh, VCs, uh, accelerators, incubators. So maybe we have some of you in the auditorium. So. If you now I'm I'm looking at you, so if you are interested in uh, cooperation with us, please reach me out later. Now back to startups. Uh, maybe you know, uh, maybe you know success of startups fr um, from from uh, which went through our program in the past, like UI Pass, FinTech OS from Romania. Uh, maybe you know Muse from Czechia, and many more. A lot of them are now key managed partners uh, now. Let me point out two successful startups from our portfolio. Firstly, late, later today, you are going to have a chance, an opportunity to join our ISV session and meet Parko, a very nice, great startup from Hungary, so you can hear their journey. But uh, now, let me hand over to our great partner from Romania, Footprints for Retail, and hear their story. I wish you a great afternoon. Uh, I wish you uh, everything, everything well later on today. And let me uh, welcome CEO of Footprints for Retail, Dan. The floor is yours. Thank you, Philip. Thank you. And thanks for the invitation. Uh, I'm Dan Markovska. I'm the CEO of Footprints for Retail. Uh, and Footprints is um, the most intuitive AI operating system for retail properties and retailers, which is designed to predict and influence all interactions with physical shoppers inside and outside retail properties. 
So Footprint is a system which is focusing on physical retail. Uh, at the moment, we work with uh, tier one retailers and retail property owners across EMEA, like uh, Sonai Sierra, Nepiro Castle, uh, Metropolitan Life, Comments uh, Carrefour, uh, Erste Bank, and NL. So for startups start, um, at the end of uh, last year, so we are eight months uh, into this uh, experience, uh, which is great. We started with spent five months uh, with a great team in the Microsoft uh, Fast Track. Uh, so technical engineers who help us around um, uh, deploying and uh, moving to Microsoft or a uh, Azure and being able to coordinate all our services across uh, Azure's capabilities. So basically, uh, mostly we got a lot of value across understanding how we can use our uh, unique proprietary AI to faster deploy and accelerate the go-to-market um, through Asia capabilities. And then we started developing the co sell offering. So basically at the moment we're working very closely with uh, regional partner managers and AI specialists uh, across different geographies uh, to tail tailor our commercial offer to uh, various customers. At the moment we work uh, with uh, partner managers uh, in Romania, in CE and even in UAE. So after eight months, um, we are the happiest uh, startup uh, you can uh, you can you can uh, reach out to. Uh, basically, we are now engaging with Microsoft across three continents. Uh, we are preparing to move to United States. Uh, we have 21 sales qualified leads in five different uh, markets, uh, key markets for our startup. And also, we run together with Microsoft two proof of concept projects, um, which are uh, in undergoing implementation. Uh, thank you for the invitation, and uh, you can reach out to us through Footprints for Retail at any point in time. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Uh, thanks to Philip. Thank uh, you. Thank you, and hopefully, the cold weather that meddled with c connection for a while you still manage to hear the key messages uh, and also invite you today because we basically touched upon only several <laughs> points uh you're invited at two o'clock in neighbor in the neighbor um, building we'll do a deep dig deep dive into many subjects if you have some questions if you're interested there are contacts. There's Victoria Przybylska, who will be ready to answer questions of any startups. Thank you. Have a great day.